you may wonder what bovine leukemia virus has to do with all this. Uh, it is worldwide. Cattle all over the world are infected with it. And in the U.S., 38% um, beef her of beef herds are infected and 84% of dairy herds. And uh, it's usually found in the milk and the blood of cattle. So you can imagine that a lot of our, uh, a lot of what we buy at the grocery store could have it, and it has they, uh, it has been tested and shown that yes, uh, products that are marketed are infected, and so uh, we also know that pasteurization of milk and thorough cooking of beef inactivates the virus so that it cannot, in, it's not infectious, but many people have drunk raw milk. And most of us have eaten pretty rare beef steak and maybe hors d'oeuvres that were completely raw beef. So uh, we do have evidence that um, it, people all over, uh, well, in the US, we have evidence that many people are infected. And the evidence has been growing that it, infection with this virus is associated with breast cancer. So, um, there, okay. So, how do we know it really is a cause? Believe me, I've run into quite a bit of skepticism <laughs> with this idea. So, there are criteria that scientists use to judge whether something is a cause of a disease. And this virus has met all eight of the applicable criteria. And one of the most powerful ones, I think, is being able to visualize and see the virus actually in breast tissue. So the photo shows you a, um, a section of breast tissue and the brownish colored cells that the bracket is pointing to uh, are the ones that are positive for the virus. So using um, specimens from clinics and so forth, we looked at 430 specimens from women who had undergone surgery. 58% of the breast cancer specimens that we had were positive for the virus, for, whereas only 24% of completely normal tissue from women that never had breast cancer, only 24% of them were positive. So they had surgery for other reasons. So this is very strong evidence, and the difference between those two percentages is highly significant. And one of the strongest um, evidence or criteria of fulfillment important for proving causation. So the question then becomes, what do we do about this alarming situation that most of our food, our, our beef and dairy products, are contaminated with a virus that could be very dangerous if we do not inactivate it by heating. So the best, here's where primary prevention really comes in handy, because we have a means of completely getting rid of this source by eradicating it from cattle. And it has been already done in Western Europe, Australia, and New Zealand. Uh, using the t by testing the cattle uh, first to see if they are infected, and then separating positive from negative animals, like you see in the photo. They have double fence because cows like to jump fences. So um, they are everything about their care is separated. Separate barns, separate pastures, separate equipment, and they make sure that the negative cows stay negative. So once all the positive cows have been marketed for us to eat, uh, all that's left is negative, and that, uh, that is where the development of the future herd uh, is. And eventually, these countries uh, arrived at um, completely, uh, completely eradicated situation. So why can't we do that here? Why hasn't it been done yet? We, we could uh, reduce the future incidence of breast cancer to about half of what it is now. And uh, so let's eradicate first in California. That's what I'm proposing. And we're doing a survey to try to determine the 
um, ability of the industry to be cooperative. And if any of you have suggestions about how to persuade industry to go through this rather expensive process, let me know about it. And we can work together to uh, activate to eradicate. Awesome. That's wonderful. Now, keep your microphone in case the judges have questions. Judges, do we have any questions? We've also been asked to if the judges could uh, score quicker. <laughs> and if you want to, because uh, we're a little behind. Um, and if you also could speak right into the mic. So any questions from the, the judges? Uh, yes, I have a question. Um, so the countries that you mentioned that have eradicated um, BLV or working on it, at eradicating it, are also other country, countries that have very high rates of breast cancer. Is there any evidence yes. that the rates have gone down as the BLV has been eradicated? Okay, good question. Do we have any evidence yet that it's going down? Well, the eradication has been relatively recent. It's after the year 2000, so, uh, and some just even more recent than that, like about 2010. So that's not enough time to really see an effect, but it will probably begin to show up at about 15 or 20 years after the eradication. Any other questions from judges? One question I had is, does it, does it matter if it's organic beef or, or milk? Do, do those have a lower incidence? Uh, it, it, organic, per se, isn't going to guarantee anything. So what matters is knowing whether the particular dairy uh, or farm it comes from is BLV free. And I think personally one of the best strategies to make this happen because you know the people are very reluctant to spend the money to make this happen, but have, having uh, labels on meat saying bovine leukemia virus free. So even if you don't know what that virus is, you're probably going to buy the other brands, or, or, uh, or you're going to buy that brand because you're afraid of it in the other brands. Right. So that, I think that's that a great idea. A powerful that's a great item. idea. Um, so we're we're still not done with judges. So I'm going to ask another question, even though that's going to put us behind, but so they don't get confused by the next presenter. Um, uh, and you're asking for money for the survey only, is that right? Am I correct, or did I not, did uh, I not well, get that wrong? OK, the proposal mainly is to ask for money for the survey, because it's going to go out to all the ranchers, farmers, uh, industry, anybody related to the industry in California. And in order for them to get, uh, uh, to want to reply, they may be rather resistant, we're, we want to be able to offer an Amazon um, card for a little reward, you know, that, that can go a long way. And so that's what some of the money will go for. Awesome. Thank you so much. And here's your...